Hey everyone, Molly Mel here from Sincerely Creative Mom, um, Coach Mel. We are going to make a grapevine wreath that could be for anything. I'm doing it all pinks um, to kind of focus on Valentine's Day. Um, however, it could be for anything. And actually, the wreath base itself came from Deco Exchange, and all the greenery and florals came from the at home store and we're going to use a real simple solid pink uh, for the bow so a little different today um, I'm going to take this greenery piece it's going to be my base and just cut it up here and use this as my um, number one filler I got my glue pot going and I'm just going to cut these in halves. Let's move this out here. I'm going to cut these in halves and then I'm going to go for it and just really fill in this grapevine with all of our greenery first. All of our filler. So this whole bush was $3.99 so I like to use, I like to try to use my most inexpensive piece uh, first, of course, so therefore we have, um, you know, the inexpensive part. And then I'm just going to go around and kind of just fill it. No, no particular rhyme or reason. Um, I'm not even going to cut this here. I'm not even going to cut the... Uh, grapevine up. I'm just gonna oopsie. I didn't give it enough time I guess. So this is a it's actually a food skillet and I just use it if you don't know already. I just use it as a glue pot and it works just fine. Just trying to get this in the inside and the outside and all around. Quite honestly, this is a really cute piece. It might be good just by itself even. We're not going to do that, but I can see how if you load it up, it might be really cute like that. Not really putting too much effort into where they're going. Just making sure that color, that texture gets all the way around. There's a very similar piece to this um, at the Hobby Lobby. And it has like little white buds, it's a little dusty. Not sure what it's exactly called, but I love that piece as a filler too. So if you don't have an at-home store, you could totally grab a piece that's very similar from there. And not that we weren't being careful or not that we were being careless, but we didn't have enough to go all the way around, so I'm going to cut that last piece. Now again, we have, um, since this was an inexpensive piece, I do have more uh, to use if we need it. We may not need it. Okay, so then I'm going to go from there into another filler. Um, this one has that tape all the way around it. Um, it's a little longer piece, and we're not going to need that long stem there, but we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to make sure we lift up pieces and slide them in there. This one also from the at-home store, cutting off that excess. <clears throat> I 
There's a very similar to this piece um, with Deco Exchange called, well, I don't know what it's exactly called, but we call it 60919. It's the SKU number to it. It's very similar to this. Very, very cute. Let's call it Cousin. And I'm just going all the way around here. Getting that texture, that color, those little blooms all the way around. So these floral wreaths can start off, at least with the bases, with the base, it can start off being not messy, but it can start off being not so uh, particular, right? It can, you know, just kind of put them in there as you see, making sure we kind of cover ground. Not being too particular, but you know, still watching where we're putting our pieces, making sure our coverage. Oops, see that one? Oh, that was really stuck in there. Make sure we get that tag off there. These were $4.99. Um, I always, if you follow me, you know, I always try to watch these. Everything is on sale at some point. Some It goes on sale sometime, somewhere, some time for whatever reason, whether it be the end of the season, whether it be a coupon for your birthday, whatever the case is, I always try to utilize that for sure. So, you know, the, the, the wreaths that you buy in the store, they're pretty. They are. And I don't want to discount any of those that are, you know, people are making them, hand making them. You know, they're pretty. But there's just something to be said about a handmade wreath. Nice and full with all the things that you like, pick out, walk through the store. And I've even been known to buy completed wreaths and use them as a base because sometimes you can get them crazy cheap and using them as a base can sometimes benefit your business if you're doing this for a business which i am sure we kind of extend that out past uh, the actual grapevine doing well there good deal you know I'm gonna go in one more I think and add some more pieces they're usually pretty easy to pull So you can see even with, not going rogue, but even with, you know, not planning too, sorry about that loud noise, um, planning, not planning too much, you can see 
We're not doing too bad as far as time. Of course, it always goes faster when you have everything um, planned ahead, but then I also don't like to um, tear off more than I need, right? Like, I'm the one who's definitely gonna keep one stem if, I, if it doesn't work out. And so I, I like to try to eliminate that if we can. I just have, um, if you're wondering, I have Gorilla Glue inside my glue pot here. I'm just putting this right on the outside, very outside layer here to kind of again extend that length, that pushing it out a little bit. Nice decent chunks here. Just blending it right in with that grapevine. right there. Then we have some berries and a bow and even maybe a thicker or a bigger bloom. Bring that in there. Thing is wired so anything that is sticking out too far or not stick it out enough we can make sure we get in there I'm gonna go back to this one and make sure we get this one going around the outside as well last thing we want is for you to see the inner texture and then not see it on the outside so we're going to go right in with this. And I'm just going to do right along the outside just like we were with the other piece. Zoom it right in there. Nice inexpensive filler coming around that outside. Now the most important, I'm sorry, the most expensive part I'm putting in here are going to be the berries that we're putting in um, that are coming up next I think and so I want to make sure I have a good chunk of them but I also don't want to use you know I don't want to use the most expensive thing as my filler I want them to be just a nice little accent going through here Just extending this. Now this one also isn't going to be too thick. So it'll probably be under six inches. Which is sometimes really nice for folks who are looking specifically to go through between their doors. Which I know isn't the most popular thing as a wreath maker because our wreaths are nice and big sometimes but it's always nice to have options and this will be a really good option so this started as a 14 inch frame or 14 inch grapevine rather so, 
and we're going to make it nice and long. berries I chose from oh I just got a tag in there we don't definitely don't want that tag on there um, the berries I chose are also from the at home store it is um, it's a piece that is not it's it's different okay we'll just say that it's different so it doesn't have very many pieces on here and we're going to take each of them off individually. And then this one is not going to get away with it. We're going to definitely get that one off there. It's just wired around. and then we'll wire it to this piece. So we're not gonna let any of them get past us. And these are just kind of weirdly wrapped around. I know it just seems weird, but it's how they are. That's it, it's how all of them are. So this one I'm going to be a little bit more careful. We do have um, several stems here, but I'm going to be a little bit more careful as to where they go. So they can be placed kind of um, spaced, spaced nicely so that we're not having to, again, put in so many of these. nice for them to be on the inside, on the outside, on the center. This is a perfect color, perfect piece to be in there. It's one really nice thing about a grapevine also, you have all these different spots to kind of bring those things in. You're not too worried about if you can slip it into the base or not. We have lots of options to do that. Now I may once we put in our bigger blooms, I may come back and put in one more layer of these just because I really like them. But actually just like that is really pretty so far. So then we're gonna come in with a nicer, bigger bloom. And I'm gonna keep those bigger leaves on there as well. This one also from the at-home store. This one was $2.99. couple of these. We're going to go around our first time with just these though. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing kind of on the inside, on the outside, looking for spots I need to fill. bushes here, 
and that's the only two I have, so I'm going to be fairly careful and not put too many. come back and fill more. These aren't supposed to be like the filler again remember they're just supposed to be the last accent piece. Now usually I don't do all one color. These just all happen to go and if I needed more I did pull in, um, I did pull, not pull in, but I did pull some white flowers that look just like this. So if I needed an additional filler, because if this wasn't enough, I wanted something else to fill. I think this might do the trick since we have two of these. Fighting for the glue that's ready. And since there isn't going to be a whole lot left here, we're just going to go ahead and use the, whole, the rest of this. Again, this one was $2.99 from the at home store. That's if I bought it on regular price. see where I want or need this to go. one's missing one so we're gonna cut that piece off just like that and get rid of it so the grapevine doesn't have to be big in order to make a big wreath we start off with a 14 inch and we're sitting right around 24 inches right now which is perfect size go all over. Super, super pretty. Very dainty. Um, very nice to stay for, you know, a period of time. Doesn't necessarily have to be just for Valentine's Day, even though that's what I'm kind of creating this with um, in mind. And then we're going to go real simple on the bow. I think I'm going to put that bow right there. 
Got a nice little spot for it. I'm just going to take our single loop here, single ribbon, and then just start not too many, maybe uh, maybe six loops. Kind of big, I'm not even going to, kind of nice big loops. Take a pipe cleaner. Nice and tight. Add it right in there. Just had a little spot that was seemed empty. This will be the hardest part, of course. Getting that pipe cleaner to zip through the way we want it to. Snuggle that right in. Now, without thinking about it too much or too hard or too long, I kind of just went with that filler green with a little bit of pink kind of berry on the end and used that as our filler since that was the cheapest. And then I went in with another piece that wasn't, wasn't so cheap. Well, I shouldn't say cheap, but wasn't so inexpensive. It was inexpensive, but we used several of them, so that makes it not inexpensive to me. I'm just going to clip those ends. Super duper cute. Nothing to it. Nice wildflower. Lots of pink, lots of green showing in there. Nice bow, real simple. Great for Mother's Day. Great for, um, well, great for Easter. Great for Mother's Day. Great for Valentine's Day. You could swap out the bow if you wanted for um, a, a bow, uh, bow with some hearts. And it would be perfect for Valentine's Day or it would be perfect for Valentine's Day just like this. Um, every day, anything, any, anything, a baby shower, um, it's just adorable. So I hope that you enjoyed this very simple, very quick uh, grapevine floral wreath. We took that 14 inch grapevine and turned it to uh, 23, 24 inches. It is just perfect. Y'all, Coach Mel here signing off. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye y'all.